It's Mayor Daniel Rickman here and just wanted to give you some highlights from our city council meeting. Um, we started off with lots of presentations, a very popular month here in May. We celebrated Asian American Heritage Month. We celebrated Bike Safety Month. We celebrated Small Business Month and then National Preservation Month. But we also did some incredible work this week where we, we have made appointments to our various boards and commissions filling those spots with eager citizens who wanting to help and be part of it. We also voted to support our grant right heirs to help us with the rail realignment, something that's been talked about in Columbia since 1905 and we have a collaborative effort. The first time I know in the region that this has happened where state, local and federal officials coming together to support a significant project that fits and checks about every box there is from safety to equity and we're very excited about this opportunity to change our downtown with this monumental realignment and elimination project. But we also had some really good highlights in the city manager's report. We had, as you know, the city of Columbia has been close to 600 employees short. We had a job fair. We had almost 550 people come to the convention center and take part. We are able to get close to 80 applications as we're processing those, so we're making a dent in that. And part of that is, is people being exposed and having an opportunity to interact with our staff and understand the potential there is here at the City of Columbia. If you're part-time or if you need flex time or if you want a full-time career where you have the ability to advance, people had an opportunity to understand that. We also have gotten a report about how we're, we're doing on our 4,000 work orders that are behind. We've dropped close to 1,200 orders over the last 60 days and 800 of them being last month. We're not there yet, folks. We're, we're still active. All of this is very important for us to, to address and we're gonna continue to address it, but we're making strides by looking at things differently, acting differently, and working with different contractors to help fill those voids to make sure that you have the best customer service and that you're not waiting months and months to get these repairs done. We also um, have rolled back uh, the employee vaccination requirement in the city with the state changes in across uh, the state here in South Carolina, we have reeled those back and but we'll be monitoring. We're still going to have random testing. We're, we're still taking COVID very seriously, but we're stepping in line and working with our, our regional and state government to, to stay in the guidelines that were provided to us by the state legislature. Those are just a few of the highlights that, that we're hitting this week, but we're going to continue to work hard for the City of Columbia every day making changes and I hope that you see these changes and you'll let us know where we haven't done such a good job and where we can improve because your feedback is very important to us.